At least 25 people are dead. Many others still missing this morning after a volcanic eruption in Guatemala sent lava flowing through the streets. Pretty impressive pictures from the Volcán de Fuego, the volcano of fire as it's known in Guatemala. Ash, clouds of ash and the molten rock spewing out from the top of that volcano. We're getting some dramatic video from surrounding villages now that show the destruction left behind. Let's pick things up there with Michael Serapio bringing us the latest on this deadly volcano. Good morning. Good morning, Heather, and absolutely devastating situation we're seeing in Guatemala right now. Now, you began by talking about the number of dead now standing at 25, and this is the result of 18 bodies that were confirmed and found late yesterday. Add that to the seven that officials had confirmed uh, earlier in the day on Sunday, and it is now standing at least 25, and I say at least because there's still a number of people missing, and officials expect that number to rise. Now, take a look at some of the video on the ground because you really see the destruction that we are observing. Uh, right now, the volcano erupted around the noon hour local time yesterday, said to be uh, spewing lava that's about 700 degrees Celsius. It's burning the landscape, leaving a charred stench in the air. Hundreds of rescuers and emergency responders work long hours looking and helping survivors, recovering bodies if need be. But the darkness of last night, the rain meant efforts were suspended, but they will begin again uh, this morning. We are watching for that as you take a look at more of the scene on the ground. Already, the president President of Guatemala has declared three days of national mourning and with the consent of Congress later today, Heather will also declare a state of emergency. Something that we're watching in Guatemala that we haven't been seeing, Michael, for example, in uh, Hawaii is something called lahars. Now, what are lahars? Uh, well, essentially, they are what are, is described as rivers of concrete. And, and that's because this is a river of debris that comes going down a hill. And you're right, it's very different from what we've seen in Hawaii. And in fact, you see there, that isn't smoke. That's a lahar sit hitting the side of a bridge and spewing up on top of it. And essentially, these are created uh, when pyroclastic material, essentially ash and rocks, are pushed out of the volcano. It makes its way uh, down the hill because it is buoyant because of the vapors. It collects water as it goes down the hill, builds up speed, then collects debris and trees, which make these flows even more deadly. It buries people, pulls them into its volcanic current, covers the landscape it as it continues to destroy just about everything in its path. And really, these uh, rivers of concrete, these lahars, don't settle until they reach flat terrain. And when they do, as I say, they, ha they tend to bury whole buildings, whole communities, and that is exactly what they're dealing with on the ground. Very different from what we've seen in Hawaii, but very, very deadly.